Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your microphone not working when you're playing games on your Windows PC. So we can go to the start button and go to settings right here. And then what we want to do is go on over to system and go on down to sound. So make sure your output device, your speakers, or your headset is selected on here, what you're going to be using to hear things. So I got my Stealth 700 G2 PlayStation headset from Turtle Beach. And then the input device will be your microphone. Now, if you don't see it under here, you probably have some sort of connection issue where you need to connect and pair it to your computer via Bluetooth or with a USB. So it looks like my headset is not showing up under here for some reason. So I can go to add device right here and I can go to Bluetooth and I can try pairing it. And if you don't see it on here, go to show all devices and you can see my headset is showing up right here. So I can just try selecting it. So my microphone actually works. So looks like it's connected now. It's not showing up under this list still. So I might just have to switch to a different microphone. And I think it's already in use somewhere else. So I don't know. But here is the volume right here. Make sure the headset for uh, your speaker or your microphone is turned up loud enough. So this is for the microphone volume. And then this is for the headset speaker volume. So I can increase the sound of my microphone right here. Now we can always select our microphone. So you can see I have so many different devices connected and camo I believe is uh, that's related to me screen mirroring uh, my iPhone to my computer I can go to this if I don't want it on I can go to don't allow and it won't allow this computer to switch over to that device automatically but I can also test my device under here if I go to start test and then I can start speaking and I can stop the test and just play it back to see if it's working or not so I don't hear anything. So it's not connected. I think my iPhone would have to be connected. So this doesn't really do anything at the moment. But we can go on down once we set that up. We want to go to more sound settings right here. Select this and open up this small little box. And then you get the playback devices or speakers. So you might want to set your headset as the default device down here. So it always defaults to your headset when you plug it in. And then the same thing for uh, your microphone. So go to your microphone. And I don't see my Stealth 700 headset microphone under here for some reason. But I can see um, my camera microphone on here. So sometimes my camera microphone will be the one I'm default using. So we can go to properties under here. And we could try disabling it too. So our camera microphone never uh, shows up on this list. Uh, we can just find it under the previous screen. But if we go to listen device and go to listen right here and apply this. If we start talking now we can hear ourselves speak through that microphone so we can get an idea if that's working or not. And you can see a little indicator right here. If you talk or make some sort of sound, it should show up under here. So it doesn't seem like it's working at all, but uh, whatever your microphone is, select it and make it the uh, device default down here. So it's always defaulted to that microphone. So that's very important. And then uh, you might have some more options on the last setting here under properties for advance. You could try allowing some of those. I don't have everything, but you might have more additional options that you could try turning on. And then also what we want to do is go to the volume mixer right here. Open this up and this could be game dependent too. So if you're playing Call of Duty or something and your microphone's not working, try going to Call of Duty under the sound mixer and then selecting the input device automatically under here. So I can just go to whatever microphone I have and select it and then do the same thing for your output device and do it game specifically under here or Steam or you can try setting it up here for your input and output device. It looks like my input device is uh, selected to something that doesn't work. So I'd have to switch this on over to something else so it actually works. So you can see I have camel selected and that wasn't working before. Now uh, we can go on over to where it says uh, system right here and go on down and we want to go to the privacy settings actually way over here on the left. And we want to make sure our camera has or I mean our microphone has permissions to actually work. So turn this on and turn it on for all the apps you want your microphone to work on. So you might have this disabled for some of the apps for some reason. I'm not sure why. All right. So once we gave that permission, let's go back to the uh, search icon and go to device manager and open up this small little window here and I can close that in the background. And then the top option is going to be audio input and output. Just go to this and we can locate all our different microphones on here. So I can see my speakers for my South 700 G2 headset 
and then I can see my um, five fine microphone right here. I can right click on this and go to properties for it. Go to drivers and you can uninstall the driver and then you can install and update the driver right here if you are having problems. So you can just completely redo the drivers, have Windows search for a new driver and then do that too. And it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with this, but my Stealth 700 still isn't showing up. So there is a way we can possibly see it if we go to view and go to show hidden devices and see if it shows up under the list. So it looks like it's connected as um, a headset right here, headphone microphone. We can select it. It says currently this device is not connected to the computer. So I'll probably have to reconnect it to my computer. I could turn off my headset, turn off my computer, restart everything, and then just reconnect it with Bluetooth. And so I can see under here it's connected, but is not uh, currently connected and turned on or something like that. I don't know. So I have it connected via Bluetooth, but it's not connected to my computer right now is pretty much what it's saying. So I know it's there. So I probably want to go back to the Bluetooth settings and just simply repair it. Go to Bluetooth right here, locate your headset, and you can see it's not connected right here for some reason. So I can just go to remove, go to add device, and I can go to Bluetooth devices, show all devices, and see if it pops up under the list. So I have to put my headset into the Bluetooth pairing mode, and it should show up under this list now. Now, if that doesn't work, if it's game dependent, you can go to the game options specifically for Steam. For example, if I go to settings, we have tons of different settings for voice. So if we go into voice, uh, we can test it out under here as well. So just switch to your microphone under voice input device. And then um, go to open microphone down here. If you have push to talk on, even if you're testing out your microphone on the top, you're going to have to press this button F12 for it to activate the microphone. Otherwise, nothing's going to pick up. So I usually just go to open mic when I'm playing video games so I can just start speaking. I like that a lot more. And then you have the input. This is going to be the volume level for your microphone. And the output, I believe that's going to be your friends speaking. And then open mic, you just start talking. Push to talk, you have to press this button. Uh, push and mute, you press this button to activate the mic, and then you can keep talking, and you can let go over the button, but when you want to stop talking, you can press the button again, and it will mute it. So it's a little bit different. Push to talk, you have to hold the button down. Once you let go, uh, then you stop speaking, but I like open mic usually. And then we got like a noise gate right here. So if you get a lot of background noise, make sure you have this set to medium or on high right here. But uh, hopefully this video did indeed help you out. It did. Uh, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios. And check out the noise cancellation and noise echo cancellation right here.